Okay, there's some evidence of water in here, which is probably why it wouldn't start. I noticed when it was uh, over on the floor when I picked it up, it looked like some water was in the fuel. One thing I like about these Makuni carbs is you can uh, change the seat. If you look in the kit, it comes with a new needle and seat. A lot of the other uh, Honda CR carbs, like the Keyhens, they uh, you can't change the seat when they get old. And if you put a new float in them, they leak. Oh, that's not good, whatever that is. So yeah, this carb needs a good clean and a blowout. Oh, I printed off the uh, parts of the manual that uh, tell you where, where these are supposed to be set, like the air screw. I'm going to see if anybody's jetted it from my elevation at any point in this lifetime. So in the manual, I've printed off the page uh, regarding jetting. So I'm going to be 2,500 foot to 5,000 foot altitude. I'm probably going to be riding this bike between 18 and 26 degrees Celsius. So they're saying the air screw for this altitude should be two and a quarter out. So I'm going to uh, count the number of turns from lightly seated and write it down. So if nothing else later, I can put it back to the way it was. Half, one, one and a half, two, Two and a half, three, three and a quarter. So that was uh, definitely nowhere near where it's supposed to be. More evidence of water. See, it doesn't look like fuel. So maybe the last time the former owner rode it, he took it through a creek or something. Probably explains a lot like it, why it didn't want to start. So there it is disassembled. I still have to take this out. I bought a, it's missing its little uh, choke knob. I bought a new one of these from Honda. It's the only other thing I've got to change. So again, referring back to uh, my manual for my altitude where I'm going to ride. Right here, they're suggesting a 340 main jet. I had to get out my magnifying glass, uh, and it's a 360 main jet, so it's got a standard main jet. So I'll probably order a 350 and a 340. Probably should be able to find them on eBay or something like that, and uh, have them on hand for when I get the bike running and I go to tune it. Hopefully you can see this. Also in the manual, this is uh, the tapered needle. For my altitude, it should be on the second step, which is going to drop the needle, make it a little leaner for the uh, thinner atmosphere here. It's still in the standard position, so uh, I don't think this bike was ever raced. Uh, a racer that knows anything probably would have made these adjustments, so uh, I'm going to go ahead and put it on the second step now because uh, my experience uh, at this altitude, you don't need as much fuel. I'm fairly confident now why the bike wasn't running when I, I took this apart and I blew a whole bunch of water came out. And I think the reason there was water in the carb is there was no vent hoses left on the carburetor itself. So I'm going to blow all these jets out. After you blow them out I'd like to hold them up to the light and make sure you can see light through them. But I'm fairly confident that was the issue. Okay so I've got the new kit, uh, rebuild kit out. It's a 
Moose Racing brand, so that means it's probably made in China. Uh, therefore, I'm not going to use their main jet or their slow jet or their needle. I'd much rather use the original stuff. There's nothing wrong with it. But we'll be using their new air screw and spring. A uh, new needle and seat and the gaskets and some new screws. Okay, so here's my Chinese knockoff uh, PWK Air Striker. 38 mil wouldn't fit this bike anyway, and the bike I bought it for to try and tune, I've since sold. Didn't work. I don't know if they're any good or not. I don't think so. But I've got uh, printed off what the hoses are supposed to look like on this bike, and they're almost identical. So I'm going to take these uh, hoses off this carb and put them on uh, the real carb for the bike. So I would call that a win. <laughs> 